Welcome to the Mushroom Cult Entertainment Only Series. This video is Aseptic in a Septic World. My promise of transparency and integrity is simple. This video is intended to demonstrate technical auger work and documents the results, good or bad. I am not afraid to fail and make it known. That being said, this video is not a prescription for success. Beginners are encouraged to use a still air box as a minimum precaution. The workstation like one depicted in this picture is a good place to practice aseptic techniques. This video contains minor technique errors and does not implement best practices. The main philosophy behind this procedure in the video is that layers of protections like gloves, still air boxes, and hazmat suits may be added on top of good technical execution, but are not substitutes for good technical execution. Additionally, objective evaluation of the technique is entirely dependent on results and has very little to do with how the technique compares to trusted texts, dogmas, or even best practices. The results judge the technique. So let's get started. I'll do my best to point out technical errors, but please leave comments pointing out errors I missed. What do we have here? This looks like my neighbor's bathroom. Well, wait a second. What's going on here? Oh man, this hasn't been cleaned in a while. King Oyster, what is he thinking? Wait a second. Is that tape on the back of the dish? Oh no, what is he doing? He can't possibly do sterile procedures on his neighbor's toilet. Oh well, we'll see what happens. Looks like he has a handle and a sterile blade. Why even bother? He's opening it right over the toilet. This this isn't going to work. Okay, well, he got that on quickly. Oh my goodness, right at the edge of the toilet seat. And he's, he's taking a subculture. And smoothly putting it on a clean plate. And it looks like he's done. What, that can't possibly go well. Uh, so this looks like the bottom of those two plates and the top. So you can compare them with the finished. Oop, it looks like five days later, it's clean. You can see some flakes. That's just part of the auger. I have no indication that there's any kind of contamination five days later. Looking pretty good. What is going on here? Wait. Is he thinking of upping the stakes? No way. No, impossible. Wait a second. What's in the bag? Oh my gosh, Wh whoa. No, this has gotta be a joke. Oh my gosh, what is that, a cigarette butt? Muddy, f oh no, he's doing the same thing. Looks like he has parafilm, blades, another culture, he's got a handle, looks like three sterile plates. Oh, he's, he's taped them up for transportation, that was clever. Right on the toilet, this is a porta potty folks, what is he thinking? I'm sure he's focusing on his technique. Number two and number three. Getting those ready. Last of all, opening up the mother culture. It doesn't look like he brought alcohol to wash his hands. Is he doing this with dirty hands? He's putting the blade on with spare blades and parafilm in the same hand. He's preparing to open the culture 
He's multitasking, folks. Oh dear, he forgot to tape this one down like he did last time. Let's hope this one works. He's transferring it to plate number one. What, what, what is he doing? Oh my gosh. Is this happening? He just made three transfers while only opening the mother plate one time. And it looks like he's done. Oh, wait, what is he doing? Parafilm, yes. He came prepared. Taping the plates. I don't have very good expectations for this. This looks like Contamination City. Could there be a worse place to do sterile technique? I'm not sure. If you have any ideas of worse places, let me know. Plate number two. It looks like it's a cold day. That parafilm is not stretching very much. But he's, he's doing it. He's wrapping it up. Right back onto the porta potty seat. Think of how many people have used that seat. Oh my gosh. And the third plate. Here it is, folks. You're seeing it right here on Mushroom Cult Entertainment Only series. What could possibly be next? Oh, I guess pack it in, pack it out, just like camping. Clean up after your s folk. Clean up after yourself, guys. And that's that. So we actually do know what's in the bag. And here is five days later. Transfer number one, it's clean. Those are just flakes of maybe malt extract or yeast or something in the in the auger. Second transfer is clean five days later. And what about the third transfer? It's also clean. It doesn't mean that contamination can't arise, but at this point, we're in the clear. Thanks for watching the Mushroom Cult Entertainment Only series. Check us out at mushroomcult.net. Join the cult, start a culture.